Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillah Arabic. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Right, I mentioned uh, earlier that we will do a test, eh? right? For the first three, uh, for the first three uh, chapters, correct? <laughs> correct. Okay, alright. So let's do a test, Bismillah. So if you have uh, there's a notebook in front of you, I'll just test some of the words here. Alright, so then you write down the meanings in English. Just write down the meanings in English. I'll just uh, circle the words. Okay? Or highlight over the words. Okay, so one lady. This is just a test for you all to see. Lady, how much you have memorized uh, all the words that are that are here in this um, in this list. Okay, so one lady. Okay. Alright, the first word. So what's the words here? Okay. Just write down on your on your notebook, eh? Random words. Um, the meaning of this word. The meaning of this word. This word. This word. Okay, five first. Okay, five words. Just write down. Just write down in English. It's just more of testing yourself lah. <laughs> to see if you really memorize the words or not. In your Arabic exam, I'll be doing this eh. In your Arabic exam, um, end of the year, I will be giving words. Like this lah, words, just words. And I'll be saying, and, I'll, and then the instruction will be write down the, the, write down the English. And write down the translation of these words as well. I'll be giving you words and I'll be saying write down the translation of these words. So usually about five five words I'll give the I'll give the Arabic, I will ask for the English. And five words I will give the English, I will ask for the Arabic. Alright, so I'll put like for example drive. Okay, why is drive in Arabic? Uh talk, why is talk in Arabic? And that kind of thing. So there there will be a section that is like this. Right? It's just, it's just pure memory. <laughs> it's pure mem mem memory work. Alright, if you're done. Okay, so the first word, someone said, someone answer. Eh? First word, can someone answer? Dakhala ya dakhulu dakhulan. The meaning of the first word, dakhala ya dakhulu dakhulan. Anybody? Takhala yadkhulu tukhulan. Is answer? Enter, correct, enter. Okay. Qa'ada yaq'udu qu'udan. I hope you all memorize that way. Eh? Qa'ada yaq'udu qu'udan. You can memorize the last letter. The word last one is better. Qa'ada yaq'udu qu'udan. It means? It means sit, right? Qada yaqudu qudan, sit. And then, zahaba yadhabu zahaban. Zahaba yadhabu zahaban. All of these words that I went through previously, um, you can find it in the videos. The our our Arabic lessons are all on YouTube. Alright, so those of you who want to like double check the words whether you got it correct or not, it's all in the videos. It's all on YouTube. Okay, uh, the channel is there. I think I shared before the channel. Okay. Um Tamam. Uh go, right? Zahaba Yazabu, Zahaban go, correct. Fahima Yafamu Fahaman. Fahima ya fahamu fahaman? Fahima ya fahamu fahaman? Uh, 
Right, to understand, correct? To understand. Tamam? Um, talaba yatlubu talaban. Talaba yatlubu talaban. Okay, talaba yatlubu talaban. Uh, to request, correct? To request right, or to seek. Get to request or to seek, correct? Alhamdulillah. Let's go to the next chapter. These are all sentences, right? Um, those of you who are more advanced in your Arabic, you can try and understand the sentences that are here. Okay, the next chapter. Let's see. Well, my highlighting drop. Okay, wherever the highlighting drop. <laughs> so, dahika yadhaku dahkan nama yanamu nauman istiyaqaza istiyaqidu istiyaqazan ishtara yishtari shiraan daraba yadribu darban. Okay, what are the meanings? Okay, so the first, the dhahika yadhaku dhahkan, dhahika yadhaku dhahkan. Okay, laugh eh, dhahika yadhaku dhahkan is to laugh, correct? Um, nama yanamu nauman. This is correct. Sleep. Tamam. Istayaqadha yastayaqidhu istiyaqadhan. Istayaqadha yastayaqidhu istiyaqadhan. Wake up, correct, wake up. Um, ishtara yashtari shiro'an. Ishtara yashtari shiro'an. Naam? To buy or to purchase, naam? And then last one, daraba yadribu darban. Daraba yadribu darban. Okay, kit. Eh, darab ya dribu darban. Alhamdulillah. Let's do our last six chapter. Okay, let's wait. Drops, drops. Okay, here. So the first word is am saka yum siku im sakan. Jaa ya ju 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 an. Tazakaro ya tazakaro tazak. Kuran, aftara, yuftiru, iftaran, hasa, harasa, yaharusu, shirasatan. This is actually very important. Memorize all these words. You should sit down. Memorize hundreds of words every week to get our Arabic. Just sit down and hafal, 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 hafal. Just memorize all the words. Okay, number seven, what's the name of Amsaka? Amsaka. Uh, Amsaka is to? Amsaka is to? Amsaka yumsiku. 
grasp, correct? Grasp or to hold, eh? Grasp or to hold. Amsaka yum seko to grasp or to hold. Ja'a yaju'a. Ja'a yaju'a. Hungry, correct. Tazakara, tazakaru. Tazakara, tazakarta. Tazakara, tazakaru. To remind, right? To remind, I ought to remember, correct. Aftara, yuftiru. Aftara yuftiru. Aftara yuftiru. To break fast, yes. To break fast. Um, harosa. Harosa. To God, correct. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. To God. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I'm going to go to the next uh, set of words. Give you all the meanings of these words. Then we'll go into our lesson for today. Okay, Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, the fourth lesson. Have I ever given it to you? Have I given it to you? Or not yet? Not yet, right? Okay, let me just give it to you. Order number four. Not yet. Okay. Okay, let's just write it down. Um, so, غَضِبَ يَغْضَبُ غَضَبًا غَضَبًا Angry. Angry. Okay. Ghafara yaghfiru maghfiratan. Forgive. Nazama yunazimu tanziman. Organize. Okay. Rattaba yurattibu tartiban. Arrange. About the same lah eh. Okay, Rattaba and Nazama is organized. Rattaba is arranged. Nazifa Nazifu Tanzifan Clean Wasakha Yuwasihu Tawsihan Dirty Masaha Yamsahu Mashan Wipe كَذَّبَ يُكَذِّبُ تَكْذِيبًا دِنَاي صَدَقَ يَصْدُقُ صِدَقًا سَبُقْ the truth okay سَبُقْ truth صَدَقَ يُصَدِّقُ تَصْدِيقًا صَدَقَ belief to believe someone. Tasaddaqa ya tasaddaqu tasadduqan tasaddaqa give charity. Membuat sedekah eh? Sedekah. Give charity. Okay. Masha yamshi mashyan walk. Zara ya zuru ziyaratan visit. حصل يحصل حصولا حصل يحصل حصولا تو نقول حاصل هاي تو أبتين نجي يا أختي يا أختي بيتنا نرى أو go down to the next set of words Alright. Is it okay? Can I go down? Okay. Okay. 
aquí. Creo drawings. Aquí. Ejtama'a yajtami'u ejtima'an a meat. Jama'a yajma'u jama'an a jama'a a collect. Intazara yantaziru intizaran wit. أعطى يعطي إعطاء جف قابل يقبل قبولا ست استلم يستلم استلاما submit I submit like for example for example submit a uh, homework And so when you submit the homework, or you submit the papers, you submit the documents called istalama. Tamam? Salama, you salim mutasdiman, give salams. Or you can say greet. Ki kazaba yakzibu kizban lai. Qaruba yakarubu qurban niya. Ba'uda yab'udu bu'dan fa Zara'a yizra'u zira'atan Allah Muzina Muhammad Plow Plow the fields Zara'a to plow the fields Hasada yahsudu hasadan Harvest Qatafa Yaqtifu Qatfan Plak Zanna Yazunu zannan think. Think or assume. Right. Zanna Shaura yashuru shuran feel or sense. Okay, ahasa yuhissu ihsasan also means to feel or sense. Alright, this one for shaura it means uh, inward. Inward feelings, eh? Ahasa is outward. And it means by the skin. It means you're feeling this with your five senses. Your ahwas and khamsa are your five senses. So an hour you're feeling, but again, I've seen them being used in the in the Jibri. I have seen with the, uh, in, in Arabic they use the word ahasa um, to mean on the inward and sha'ara to mean on the outward. So it's not it's not a it's not a very um, uh, strict statement, eh? <laughs> Inshallah. Okay, Alhamdulillah, that is our fourth our fourth um, the fourth section. Right, so we will memorize this section, Inshallah. Okay, uh, make, make sure you memorize, okay? Don't wait until the end of the, until the exams and try to cram everything in. Because wherever we reach, that's what I'm going to test. So depending on how many sessions we go, we go through, I'm going to test these sections, okay? All right. Okay, today's lesson, uh, let me just, can you share? Okay, today's lesson, all right, so the last, the last lesson we went into, The last lesson, right? We I spoke about the command tense, correct? The command tense, um, and how do we derive command tense from the uh, present, uh, from the present tense? Okay. So now what we have learned, right? Uh, what we have learned would be let's put it aside. 
Ay, revision eh. What we have learned. Right, the first one is past tense. And how to insert the um, pronouns. Right, for past tense. So the first thing we have learned, past tense, and how to insert the pronouns for past tense. And number two is present tense. And how to insert pronouns. Okay, next week I will do a test for you all based on the words of the first three chapters. Only the first three chapters. Next week test will be like this. I will say, I will, I will write down the Arabic word and you give me the English sentence. So, for example, if I say, Dorab uh, tuhu. Dorab tuhu. Dorab tuhu. So, you think there's a Dorab tuhu. I hit him. Okay, so next so next week I'll give you the word with the pronouns already inside and you translate the word for me from Arabic to English. So you translate the word for me from Arabic to English. It's easier lah. From Arabic to English is always easier than English to Arabic. Okay. Um then I went into uh how to insert done ons. Right? Into past and present. Verbs. Okay, I went through that also, and then last week I went into um, command tense. Okay, right. So I went to command last week. Okay, so next week I will test you all on this first four. I on this first four, try your best to do it. Okay, inshallah. I on this first four. So I'll give you the Arabic. You give me the English. I I'll keep it that way for now. Eh, I give you the Arabic. You give me the English. So today's lesson, we need a few more minutes, but I'll, I'll do an intro to this lesson. I'll probably, I might take a few lessons to cover this for this lesson. So number five, this lesson will be on, on the uh, 10 structures in Arabic and dictionary usage. Okay, the dictionary use. So once I have given you the ability to use dictionary, then thereafter I want you to practice your dictionary use on the every following chapter that comes about. Let me show the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? After this, right, you will have to use dictionary and you yourself uh look for the word yourself. I will affirm for you. Right? So I will affirm for you what the meanings of the words are. Right? But every, I want everyone to be more independent in searching up the words yourself. So practice side, right? practice of using dictionary. So got on the tenth in Arabic and dictionary use. Okay, okay. This so today is an intro. So Bismillahirrahmanirrahim on number five. Alright, this on a, on a new page. Okay. The Arabic language so far, right, what I have taught you all, right, is the first is is the first structure. Let me show you, eh? Right, so far. Okay. In the Arabic language there are ten structures. And I'm going to write down in numeral in, in Roman numerals because the dictionary uses Roman Roman numerals. So I'm gonna use Roman numerals, eh? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and we have. I can't draw there. Let me just um, extend this. Okay, nine and ten. Can you all see? Okay, nine and ten. These are ten structures of the Arabic language. Okay. I'll do one first. Okay. So how we're gonna do this one? The first one will be um the first column I'm gonna draw past. Okay. And then second column will be present. 
present tense, third column. I'll put the command, but command you can always derive from the present. Let them memorize it. Command. Then the fourth column is the, they call it the master. But I'll explain what it is later on. It's in your book anyway, in the green book, and master. Right? And then the fifth and the sixth column, the doer of the verb and the done on. Okay? Alright, let's draw a line. Draw across. Okay. Alright, so the first form, what we have learned, let me just different color. The first form, for example, you know, any of the words that you have taken from, from earlier on. Alright, so for example, the word jalasa. Okay, ja la sa. Okay, ja la sa. Alright. The Middle harakat, I'm going to put it as red, right? Because it's morphable, right? It can be a fatha, it can be a bamba, it can be a kasra, depending on the word. Every word has a specific harakat for it. So I will never say jalisa, eh, uh, I will never say jalisa, nor will I ever say jalusa. I must always and forever say jalasa. That's how the word is. But when I say the word like shariba, uh, shariba yesh robu. So I will never say sharuba or sha or sharaba or say shariba. Okay, that is the word. That's how it is pronounced. Okay, so 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 the first form. Let me put it in green. Now, what is the first form about? Uh, it is original. The first form is original. Another green. It's too small. The first form is original. Original tree. Letters. Okay, the first one is original three lettered word. So when we say number of letters, we are looking at the past tense. We're not looking at the present command or any other tense. We're looking at the past tense only. It's original three lettered word. These are called the root words. Okay, root letters. Root letters. Yeah, I really apologize. I'm, I'm I think very, very small. Okay, these are the root letters. Uh, that's there. Okay, present tense. We got, we get. Uh, there is, there is a, there is a, a present tense letter at the front, right? So here I'm going to put ya. I jalasa yaj lisu, yaj li su. Okay, yaj li su. Okay, the ya can change. You know, the ya can change, right? The ya can be um the ya can be an alif or a noon or a ta depending on who is speaking. We spoke about this earlier on, right? And again, the the middle harakat is um is dependent on the word. I'm doing this first because all the other forms have their own structure that is fixed. Only the first form is not fixed. The first form, the the second, the middle harakat can change change depending on the word, depending on what we are they are talking about. Okay. The ya here, uh, the ya here I know, it can be uh, yajlisu, tajlisu, najlisu, ajlisu. Right, it can be any of these things, eh? any of these things. Okay, the command tense, right? I derive the command tense from the present tense. So I remove the ya, right, and I put an alif in front. So I will say, right, for the command tense, oh, I'm going to... And for the command tense, I put an alif in front. Let me again use it. Uh, put a uh, use a blue again. Okay, I will say ageless. Correct. For the command tense, I will say ageless. Sit. Okay, ageless. Okay, the masdar. Okay, I'm going to put this as a dash. Later, I will speak about it. Okay, the dua will be in this form. Put a uh, yes orange. Mm 
majalis. Uh, so the one who is sitting, the one who is sitting in the form will always be in this pattern. So now in this, all these forms are actually patterns. I'm teaching you all patterns, right? So whenever I'll see someone's a doer of something in the first form, I'll say jalis. He's a sitter, I right? know who sits, right? He's the one who sits. Jalis. If I say it, um, uh, if I say if I say someone who's a writer, katip. He's a katip. He's a writer. If I want to say someone who is a, um, for example, a walker, he's a walker. Say mashi, he's a mashi, somebody who is walking. I saw a duo of the action. So what is the form that we see here? The form is that we see. Let me use the orange. Is that the first letter always has a has a fatha on it, and the alif that is put in the center, and the second letter is always a kasra. So it's on this is a jalis katip sami uh rafi uh qasim uh, it's all a a a i you can see you can hear that there's the sound it goes up then it goes down i said jalis um nazir uh what else rasim sami I said, all ya sami dua, ya sami dua. The one who's listening, a doer of the action. Okay. The last thing I'll take for today, I'll take. I'll pause there. Next week, I will repeat myself. <laughs> okay. So if you're wondering what this is about, I'm introducing you all to the ten forms because this, for me personally, I feel is a very, very, very powerful tool. It's a very strong tool for anybody who is serious about the Arabic language. If you're seriously learning or you want to learn Arabic language, if you don't know this yet, then you should know it now, <laughs> right? Because it will, it will open up for you doors like nothing else in Arabic and language will open up for you. Okay, so here then on, ju. Okay, it's on the form of julus, right? Julus. Extra wow put in, so it's ju. Afan, no, 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 ju is afan. Ah, endo, 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 endo. Ah, down, down is like this, right? The 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 first word is mim, and then wow. Okay, the original three letter words. So you see, all the one that is from the original three letter words, I'm I'm using a blue eh, to show the original three letter word. Major, loose. Okay, magic, orange, magic, loose. <laughs> this is the one who is being made to sit, right? So it's done on, right? It's done on, and magic, loose. So a jazz is the one who's doing the action, magic is the one who's being, who's being made to do the action. Okay, being made to do the action. All right. Inshallah, next week, I will continue with the different forms. I might take a few weeks to cover all 10 forms. Right? So, I need you all to, 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 to try your best <laughs> um, and follow step by step, Inshallah, step by step. You have any questions? Not any questions? Okay, Inshallah. Arabic is a language that it will bring you a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits if you learn Arabic. <laughs> but it is, uh, it's, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not an easy language, right, to, to master. But the results and the the you know, the natija, right, the, the results and then the the fruits, and when you understand it, it's very sweet. <laughs> the, the fruits are very sweet, right? but it's difficult to attain. They're very high fruits. <laughs> you can climb very high. You can get the fruits down. Mashallah. <laughs> okay. Alhamdulillah. Start there for today. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.